What's going on everybody? I know this seems like a topic that could be something that is very comfortable to you, but there are a lot of people out there that this is not something that they understand. Today we're gonna to talk about how to know if you are a gay man. I know this may be obvious to a lot of you guys, something that you've been comfortable with for a long time, but you'd be surprised. I get questions on social media daily. For some examples here I've got. I like girls, but I think you're attractive. Does that make me gay? Is it possible to be attracted to one guy and also not be gay? There are a lot of confused people out there and I figured I would make a video about it and we'll kind of chat about it. I'd like to start by saying here that I believe sexuality is a fluid, changing spectrum that you can discover something about yourself and change the total of your sexuality pretty quickly. I think that it's something that comes with time and learning about yourself. Nothing that I say is meant to be offensive or solid, just kind of roll with it. <laughs> also, labels are annoying. Don't obsess over this. You don't have to label yourself as gay or bi. I do it in the video title because it's something that um, people search and that's something that they, they think that's what they need to know, but you do not have to say today, I am gay, I am bi. I like men, I like women. It can be a little bit open-ended here. It doesn't have to be something finite, okay? This video is meant to help a guy work through if he's attracted to other men. <laughs> kind of, I guess, we'll see. So, just right off the bat, if you think this is hot, you're probably gay. <laughs> you probably are a man who likes men. If you didn't click away during that, then chances are. Up next, do you almost exclusively hang out with women or feel most comfortable when you're around gay men? Then you could be either because that doesn't matter and that doesn't have anything to do with your own personal sexuality. Next, do your friends point out attractive female figures to you, including women's boobs and butt? <laughs> and you are just like I was and like awkward and embarrassed about it and also not interested But then whenever you're hanging out in the swimming pool later with your friends You notice how nice their chest and their butt is well then yes, okay that in that scenario You're probably gay <laughs> next. Do you like designing and housework shopping cleaning and taking care of yourself? then also inconclusive because anyone can like those things and that has nothing to do with your sexuality. Do you find yourself daydreaming about men lounging by the pool in Speedos? Unless you're a water polo player that's desperate to get back in that game, then yeah, probably yeah. Do you love RuPaul's Drag Race? Do you know what RuPaul's Drag Race is? Inconclusive. Tons of straight people like RuPaul. Do you have a grinder? Well then, okay, that's pretty obvious. <laughs> you're definitely gay. Or attracted to men, I guess. When you're looking at advertisements, maybe in a magazine, and you see a picture of an attractive shirtless man, is that the page that you stop at? Or do you stop at the page with the beautiful, bodacious woman swimsuit model? I mean, probably gay. <laughs> if your favorite part about going to the gym and working out is going to the locker room, then you're probably gay. <laughs> Do you have feminine features or a lisp or like wearing tight clothes or have some kind of feminine attitude or feel like you're overly liberal or anything like that? Then it doesn't really matter because once again, those things have nothing to do with your sexuality, right? But are you a man who is sexually and physically attracted, potentially even emotionally, to another man, then that is the definition of gay, right? Yes. So you guys kind of get the gist of this, right? Stereotypes are stupid. Being gay is not being effeminate or liking to do specific things. If you think you're gay because of the way that you do things, that's not how this works. If you think you're gay because you are a man attracted to another man, then yes. If you're attracted to one man, if you're attracted to men and women, does not matter. You're a man that's attracted to one man. It does not matter as far as labels go. So if you're attracted to one man, that doesn't mean that you get to say that you're gay or that you should say that you're gay. Say that you're gay if you want to. If that's what you want to classify yourself as for some reason, then you can do that. But you don't have to feel obligated because of the certain way that you're feeling to say that this is how I feel. Once again, I'm not trying to put anyone into categories here. I'm not trying to stereotype, and I think that's stupid. If you kind of get the summary here, stereotypes, how you act, that kind of stuff doesn't even matter. 
being gay is about being attracted to men and you want you to be classified as being gay. If you like one guy and you don't think you're actually attracted to men, I mean, it's totally up to you. This is so flexible, right? And don't stress about it too much, right? Just relax, do whatever makes you happy. So a lot of these, uh, you know, are just for kicks. If you have anything that you think is something that directly classifies somebody as gay, obviously stay away from those stereotypes in those comment section for me, please. Then yes, put it down in the comment section below. Be sure you subscribe if you don't already. Uh, turning out some videos here pretty quickly, so I'd love to have you guys come along for the ride. Give this video a thumbs up if you like the sit and talk videos. Talk to you guys soon, and remember, never stop learning.